Hello, today I'm going to be unboxing the Nightmare for Christmas trading card game. There's 36 packs in a box, and this game was made by the company NECA. Alright, I've already opened up two boxes of this, and one thing I found out is I haven't got any of the same rares yet uh, within the same boxes. And I think that when they print them, that they put all the rares on a sheet and just kind of print them out like that. There's four rarities, common, uncommon, rare, and ultra rare. I've got five ultra rares in one box and four in another. So we'll see how I do with this one. Well, they're small little booster boxes. Smaller than like a box of Magic the Gathering. But it's the same 12 card packs. You get nine commons, sorry, eight commons, three uncommons, and one rare. Or the ultra rare can take the place of a common. So they just have some cellophane wrap on here. It's kind of tough to get off. I'm going to take it off screen here. Okay. Hopefully I can keep everything in frame here. I bought a case of these for a little over 70 bucks. They aren't worth anything anymore. Playing this game mostly because I just love Nightmare for Christmas. That's how you might see it in a booster box at a store. And here's a pack here. You got it. You got Jack on the cover. 12 card booster pack. Alright. Let's see how my focus works. Not very well. There will be some editing to be done. There was two expansions, well, one expansion to this game, Christmas Town. See the box right here. Uh, game only lasted a year, but there was some tournaments. I never knew about this game until recently. So the first ones you're going to get is the, the commons, the eight commons. You can get a location, which is always sideways. You can get a local card, which is all the locals in Halloween Town, and they'll have a little number here, that's their scare number, and then it has the name of the card, and I guess the name of the character, even though on the movie, don't think they ever called him Ethan, but whatever, his name is Ethan, and we got creation cards, are also in the game, that have scare points. And we have surprise cards, which I think all can cost zero. Um, let's see, still creations, and they'll have a picture and then text. Double dead. Ooh, and right off the bat, an ultra rare. So these are going to be the only foils you can open up. This one's called Shadow of the Moon. And you'll know it's an ultra rare because it's foil. And I think there's about five a box. And this one would be something you'd probably play on your opponents. I haven't played this game yet, but I'm going to here soon. Uh, I saw there was starter decks, but I didn't buy any because they don't have any rares. They're just commons and uncommons, and they're about 15 bucks each. You can build all those in about two booster boxes for 20 bucks. Alright, starting the uncommons, because this is going to take up a common. We have I'm Not the Dumb One, Making Christmas, Christmas Tree Bats, and the rare is Black Cat. Alright, and that's a rare, even though Black Cat... Not very important in the movie. 
but it has association with Sally in this game. I guess it did in the movie. So I'm going to try to mix stacks here. We have a Sally card here. Now some of these characters, the main characters, have more than one uh, card. They come in at different rarities usually. But there's more than one Sally. Decomposing guy. Barrel. Finkelstein Hall. Fetch. Throw me a bone. Hitch a ride. Santa Claus outfit, undersea gals, the start of the uncommons. So I'm just going to make sure I don't get my packs stacks mixed up. The laboratory, the wolf man, and Twilight Sun. I'm going to put this wolf man to the side because I'm actually the one card short making a starter deck with it. Uh, Twilight Sun is a rare. So if there's ever a vampire deck, this uh, returns any player's vampires to their hand. And draw three cards. Not sure if that refers to them. I guess you get to draw three cards. So, I'm guessing vampire decks kind of suck. No pun intended. Okay, pun intended. And, uh, oh, it's cool. Pumpkin, pumpkin sun. Come stack there. All right, and the back has Jack Skellington, Nightmare for Christmas, Halloween Town, Cyclops. Lock, The Well, Mr. Hyde, Shock, I Never Realized, Halloween Plans, and woo! Another ultra rare already. Wheel of Torture. And a lot of these make references to other cards, so there's not really a difference in deck strategy, I would think. A lot of them have to do very specific cards. But I really do like these foils. They do look very nice. It's a whole card is foil. Would have been nice to have other things foil. Another Oogie Boogie card. Not sure why, but the packs flip. You get a random amount in and you'll need to flip the whole stack. Uncommons. Scary Teddy, Christmas Tree Bats, Let's Play, Easter Bunny, not very scary, minus one. Look at that. Look at the bunny. Rawr. Okay. Makes me wonder if they could have had any more expansions, because the second one was Christmas Town. Um, don't know what they would have done after that, Easter Town. There's no scenes from the movie from that, and they only have the art they can use from the movie. They only have the characters they can use from the movie. And they only have pretty much the words are only from the movie. Places, Finkelstein Hall, the movie, Witch's Nook, the movie. Even had to kind of give them names, Behemoth, Oogie Boogie. Flip these around, don't know why. It's on the rolling dice. Fire. It's not actually flame fire, it's them firing their cannons. Took me a moment to realize that. Halloween plans. High fantasies. This is something Jack says at that moment. Castle Finkenstein. Where am I here? I guess that's the uncommons. 
Monster Under the Stairs. Ankle Grabber, sure. Harley Quinn Demon. Not know that was its name. Actually, uh, I guess Thingamabob is its name, and it is a Harley Quinn Demon. And it'll have a reduced cost to another location. And our rare is Everybody Scream. So I fully expect to get all different rares. Be kind of sad if I get a dry spell now and no ultra rares for a while, but uh, my the first box opened had a first pack ultra rare, and I had five in that one. So hopefully I'll get five again. Jack Skellington, this is common version. Pretty much all the characters in the movie going to be in this game. Let's see. Yeah, there's no way to tell commons from uncommons. Unless you have them memorized or lose location in the pack. So these three are going to be commons. Little Witch is called Zelda Born. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, Big Witch, Little Witch. Hoglamine, I guess. At least they do something different. It's cool. And there's the back alley. And the rare is, it's a phase, my dear. You can tell it's rare. I already said by the little skull. And ultra rare by the foil. Nothing to know what an uncommon is. Uh, one box, get a play set of commons. One booster box, you get uh, about two uncommon, each uncommons. You have one of each rare. Not very hard to collect them all. Let's see. Dr. Finkelstein. Yeah, he's one of the, he's got his own starter deck. I'll try to remember to name the other ones as we go by. Let's flip these around. Three of a kind. So this will have to do with the lock, shock, and barrel cards. Nutcracker. Jumbo treat bag. Mellow trio. Haven't played the game yet, but I like this card. Kinda reading it. I think it's gonna be a like a counter spell. Play magic. That's our job. So it's gonna wanna have the corpse mom, corpse dad, and the Little fat kid. I want to do it. As you can see, the names of the cards are just things they say in the movie. So they can only have so many cards. This is the rare. So I can see how this game might not have done well if you can kind of map the packs, get four booster boxes, and have all the cards pretty much. Igor. I believe there's there's 50 uncommons, 50 commons, 38 rares, so you only don't get two of them. My theory is to believe that you don't get duplicate rares in a box. And then like 12 ultra rares. Something's up with Jack. Bender, bender. Ooh, Mr. Hyde 3, tiny follower. So each of these little guys get their own card. Trying to open up these packs nice. Not sure why, it's just a habit I have. Marimobile. This is a starting location. Uh, it's zero Lo locals needed to activate it. You'll have one of these in a deck. Wish they would have been uh, 
uncommon or or rare just so you don't open up so many because you can only use one so you'll see them a lot not need them oh, look at that there's the mayor he's got his own starter deck of course mayor mobile his starter card Sally does not have her own deck kind of disappointing take off ramp fetch love zero zero and jack let's see I think this starts the uncommon starting to get an idea which ones are which which ones are which uh didn't even mean to do that big witch vampire lord now i don't like the vampires because they all do the same thing three of them are uncommon one of them is a rare they all do the same thing okay town hall look at jack awesome the rare is the reaper don't fear the reaper had no lines in the movie. They pretty much had to crop the screen to be able to get this shot of him. Barely see him, but he's cool. He's a reaper. I think he'd be scarier than three. Literally will kill you. Look at that. Nice. Nice and clean. Okay. Let's see. Barrel. Oogie Boogie. Haven't already said he gets his own deck. Let's see. Mirror Hide and seek. Get it? Hide. Master the plans. Gotta say it like that. Shock. Fire. Uncommons. Santa Claus. Victim of circumstance. Zero scare points. Not scary. Not sure what he's good for. The treehouse. That's where you play Santa Claus. Eager Anaconda. My Anaconda don't want none. Okay. You get where I was going. Yeah, they have Santa Claus in this, but all the elves, all the Christmas stuff is in that set. Haven't opened up any yet, but I saw the spoiler. Not sure how that set plays out. So all the elves don't really have scare points. But the expansion is seems to be a lot cheaper. Get boxes of that for like 10 bucks. These, a little harder to get. Let's see. Try to go through these comments faster. Uncommons. What have I done? Skeletal reindeer. Mad genius. Look like they go together. They do. Let's see, in the rear is Mystic Cauldron. Yeah, it seems like good synergy. Uh, very flavorful. He gets some tan. Have the big witch or little witch. Seems like a card you probably want four of. Move that. Mr. Hyde. Not sure why his little Little friends are uh, rarer than he is. Never realized. Jack's bedroom. Little witch. Treehouse. Rare as hello, Oogie. So, uh, punishing you if you play... Both Jack and Oogie. Not sure any of the starter decks do. I do plan to actually play a game of this very soon. The rules seem a little up for interpretation. Pretty straightforward. 
trying to collect all these cards because I know I'm the only one that's gonna have a deck but I have a lot of friends that like Nightmare for Christmas okay I seem to keep forgetting to say but the people that have their own starter decks are the mayor Jack Skellington Oogie Boogie and Dr. Finkelstein Oogie's turn to boogie Scorpion surprise. Town meeting. Kidnap Mr. Santa Claus. See, they all the lock, shock, and barrel cards really want you to play lock, shock, and barrel. So that's a good part of your deck. Just going to be these cards. You have 40 card decks. Um, then you have six or seven locations that are in extra deck. So it's like 47, 46 cards total. Almost messed up pile there. Not full 60 card decks like you're probably used to for most trading card games. Once you deck yourself, just shuffle everything back in. Seems a little good. Most games, trading card games, you'll lose. All the base player, rock, lock, shock, and barrels. They got a lot of trios, corpse family. Really want you to play those cards together. Let's see how it comes. Scary Teddy. Organ donor. Deadly nightshade. Don't want to slip this to someone. And the mayor, there we go. We got a rare version of the mayor. So you can play. Um, these in a deck. You just can't play them in the Halloween Town. Same Halloween Town, you'll have to discard one of them. Not sure if he's better than the common one. I hope so. Alright, still not a duplicate. Rare yet. Seems really strange for 38 rares 32 packs don't get the same rare vampires all right here's our first corpse mom named Bertha is that a fat person name mr. Hyde too and hanging tree and somewhere I misplaced a uncommon. Cool. A uh, hanging tree is not to be confused with everybody's scream, even though it's like the same picture. See if one of these are in the uncommon. To look it up. So like a half a box left. Maybe I'll be able to edit some stuff out. This video is shorter. I'll just go by comments faster. Shh. Shh. Not helping. I didn't have to flip these packs. We got one commons? Yes. Kind of don't want to spoil if there's a foil, but I guess it's kind of hard to. Corpse Dad Ned. Wolfman. Castle Frankenstein. Fear the Reaper. Yeah, I, I would. Actually, cost one to play. Hey, look, you find the Reaper. So it's a rare. It needs you to find a rare. So. Yeah. I don't like games like that. Cannot imagine paying full price for these back in the day.
All right, delightful hat. Best I can. Oogie's dice. The rare is Dark Alley. Yeah, at least he gets to search for some uncommons. Keep closing guys at common. At least if you only have one of something, you can kind of dig for it. And that was perfect. Not. Come on. Okay. Let's see. Look, common pile's turn to get tall. Clown with the tearaway face. The crypt. Has nothing to do with vampires. Don't get it. Make a bonus for vampires. <gasps> zero! <laughs> Love zero. Can't really tell in here, but he has a pumpkin for a nose. Didn't know that until I saw it on Blu-ray. Possibly on DVD. VHS, you could not tell. He has a pumpkin nose. And the rare is Tub of Terror. Another lock, shock, and barrel card. Alright. Jeez, I didn't have to flip these packs. What, oh, what, oh, what, oh, what's this? Sack full of mischief. Allow the opponent to to your right to cut your main deck. That's pretty cool. Yeah, these foils look really nice. Really wish they would have made more of them. And I don't know if you can see it. Kind of where my thumb is here. There's a cut. And I've seen them before. And not just ultra rares, but fortunately that's where I saw another one. It's just impact damage. I'm not sure the quality control was the best. Otherwise these cards do feel pretty good. Which is some of them have. Just impact damage. Not to the back though. So it's not like you have to play it sleeve. Let's play. Deadhead, Searchlights, and the Winged Demon. It's a rare. Not a very big part of the movie. Not sure. Alright. So. Wow, I didn't even say I have half a box left. Got three ultra rares. Okay, maybe it's like four cards in. I'll flip the pack. Let's see. Vampire. Clown. Graveyard. In the rare. It's time to party. Search for the devil. Rare card. Great. Lots of different decks, I'm sure. Oh, now I don't have to flip. Searchlights, town meeting, jack in the box, and the rare is devil, hey, speak of the devil. Go ahead and move the common pile, whether it not fall, be sad for me.
Town Hall. Oh, now I gotta flip them. Corpse Dead, Vampire Lord. Still does the same as all the other vampires, even though he's the Lord. Wreath of Wrath. Seems pretty good. He just eats old ladies. Not sure if that old lady survived in the movie. All right. Jack in the box. I'm not the dumb one. Making Christmas. Rare is hiding under your bed. I'm not sure what the scary bed is. Probably an ultra rare. Because why not have rares that reference ultra rares? Make sure everyone buys all your cards. Not sure what NEC is doing these days. I think I actually might have ordered it from them. Just uh, an eBay store. Can't tell. Destroyed that bag. Pretty sure these didn't cost much to make. Under C Gal, Mr. Hyde, Tree Circle. Hmm. Could have got a better picture for that. The fountain, our first rare location. I think the rares have taken over the playmat. Delightful hat. He's turned to boogie. Scorpion surprise. I am not the one. How depressing. He gets searched for a surprise. Two locations. Three locations. Oh, I think this is our first monster under the bed. Tree circle. Graveyard man. So many locations in this pack. Look at that. The rare vampire. Vampire prince. Does the same damn thing as the other uncommon ones. And why is the prince the rare and not the lord? Or the baron? What makes him better? They all suck. Pun intended. Whoever created this game must have thought they'd be good. Made a card that pretty much straight counters them. Never haven't seen anything else as far as I no, has a hard counter to its trio. Well, quadruplet. Let's see, let's search. Mad genius. Oogie's dice. Money. Get the search for the Easter money. Ooh, way to counter the Easter Bunny. I don't, I don't think this game had a sideboard. Can't see main deck in this. Didn't think the Easter Bunny was that good. You have to pay two of your points to pretty much negate one of theirs.
Something's up with Jack. Fender Bender. Deadly Nightshade. Morning Full Howl. Wolfman. All right. Getting a little close to the bottom here. Bass player. Sally's room. Mayor Jack Skellington. Just start naming comments. Just throw you off. Sucky vampire. The rare is... Ah, Eager and Aconda. Well, there we go. First duplicate rare. I don't want another Eager and Aconda. Unless he got buttons. Wow, look at that. Flippy, flippy. Scared Stiff. Master of Fright. I think that's the rare Jack Skellington. There's the common. Not sure. There's not an uncommon. There's a rare. And there's an ultra rare Jack Skellington. The ultra rare has the highest scare count in the game. Six. Win the game. Has the highest scare counter. Near Halloween Town. Not sure if I'll do a video tutorial on how to play this game. Probably will actually want to play some games myself. Rare up. Here it is. Jack Skellington, Master of Fright. Five scare. Rawr. See, look at that. That's why I think the packs are planned in order. How many cards make reference to a card? And you open that card. Oh, another ultra rare. I already have this one, but... Focus. There we go. I am Santa Claus. Search for Santa Claus. Yeah, I like the foils. They're nice. I already have that one from another box. No repeats on this. We have three uncommons. What have I done? I want to do it. Scary Teddy. Our rare is Kidnap Mr. Santa Claus. So I guess Santa Claus might be good to have in the deck. A lot of cards refer to it. Even if it doesn't do a lot by itself. Hey, it literally does nothing by itself. Man. Almost done. Do -do -do -do. Just have to do this just to make sure I can flip them all the right way. There's that Santa. Laboratory, the other, there's only two, that's oh, not rare, what am I doing? Oogie Boogie, the other uh, five, so Jack and Oogie Tie for the scare points. I think this one is actually better though, because there isn't really a negative to it. You discard your hand, but then you draw that many cards. Well, Jack required you to pretty much sacrifice one of your guys, so Oogie seems to win in that regard. One more rare location, I believe. Kind of hope to get that one. Haven't opened up any other damage cards yet, so that's good.
Oh, man. Little witch. And another hanging tree. Man. It's turning myself into a liar here. I already have one of those in this box. Two packs left. Wow. So hopefully there's a ultra rare in these. Because that would bring you up to five, like my other box. First box I had five. <laughs> Look at that. Look what you've done. Got me five ultra rares. Already have this one from another box. Still looks cool. Put it with the others. Rare Eureka. Pumpkin points. It's like your mana, your energy. Spend it on stuff. Two more backs. Which is good. So you can't see, but I'm kind of standing. A little bit of kneeling. Um, it's the best way to get the shot I have. I told you. Dark Alley, man. Another Dark Alley. Don't know what happened with the first two boxes. Not a duplicate rare in them. I really wanted a gatekeeper. Only have one of them. Another zero. Two zeros in this box. Just remember him because I like him. Don't know if he's good. This is Halloween. Here you go, last card in the box. This is Halloween. This is Nightmare for Christmas. These are the rares. Got five ultra rares. Not too shabby. Um, can't really hope to open anything in Pacific because don't know what card's good. Cards aren't worth anything, but it's fun to open. Hopefully it will be fun to play. Thank you for watching.